What about mankind? What does Gnosticism say about mankind? Or what is their thoughts on mankind? All right. So mankind is made physically by the evil god, the Demiurge. But it was given a divine spark from the Demiurge's mother, Sophia Akama. Man is trapped in a prison shell. And through gnosis or knowledge, can the divine spark be eventually free of the physical corrupt world? I.e., basically, it when you die and you receive the gnosis, your divine spark is free. You have to detach yourself from reality or the physical world. That's how they view mankind. Mankind is dirty. Mankind is unclean. Mankind um, is made because why? Because mankind is made by evil God. So that's why when you talk to a Gnostic and say you're made in the image of God, this is why they don't typically like that because in their mind, the God that they're made in the image of is an evil God, the Demiurge. Does that make sense? So that's why Christians, you cannot just use cliches with these people. You have to really speak the word and speak what the Holy Spirit leads. All right. So check this out. Il de Bayoth was not a sufficiently exalted spirit and he could not create life. This right here is an issue because as you know, the God of the Bible is not just the one who created life. He created man. He created man in his image and he created man. And he said it was very good. He loved mankind. He loved mankind so much that he was willing to die for them. But also, he breathed his spirit into us, and that gave us life. You understand this here. So this is why anybody who says I'm a Gnostic Christian, you have no idea what the heck you're even talking about. Because Gnosticism and Christianity does not mix. It doesn't work. Was not sufficiently exalted spirit, and he could not create life. All he could do was make forms. In his extremity, the Demiurge bestowed upon the new creature the ray of divine life, which he himself had inherited from his mother, Sophia, Akama. It is thus that man gained the power of generative wisdom. This new man, sharing the light with his own creator, now beheld himself as a god and refused to recognize Il de Baoth as his master. Thus, Il de Beoth was punished for his pride and self-sufficiency by being forced to sacrifice his own kingship in favor of a man he had fashioned. Literally, once you receive the gnosis and the spiritual wisdom, you are better than um, the God of the Bible, basically is what they're saying. If you follow the God of the Bible, you're caging yourself. If you learn the gnosis and realize who you really are and what you really have, um, then you're better than this guy. Okay. So let's continue. As is usual, the philosophical groups, the Gnostics were individualists and opposed to any intent. We already talked about this, right? I'm just reiterating. Now, realizing that man's power lay in the protection of his mother, Il de Bayot determined to detach man from his spiritual guardian and for this reason created about him a labyrinth of snares and delusions. In each sphere of the world grew a tree of knowledge, but Il de Bayot forbade man to eat of its fruit lest all the mysteries of the superior worlds be revealed to him and the rulership of the son of chaos come to an untimely end. Yeah. So basically, it is the evil God who doesn't want you to realize your spiritual heritage, your spiritual likeness, because then you'll be better than him. So he comes up with all kinds of rules, delusions, and all this other stuff, rules that you have to follow, commandments. Hello, are you hearing this here? He comes up with all kinds of rules, commandments that are nothing more than just distractions to keep you away from the truth and the tree of knowledge that he created. You, 
Now, mind you, this is how satanic this is. If you understand when Adam ate and Adam and Eve ate of the knowledge of good and evil, that wasn't them freeing themselves. That was them falling because they were already in a place of holiness and they were already in a place where they didn't need to know good and evil. They knew holiness. That was much higher. But here they're saying, nah, Io de Bayoth wanted to punish them because they wanted knowledge. That is not what that's about. So we'll talk about that later.